The former UKIP leader ripped into Blair the Preacher, claims that Labour members are massively in favour of another vote and reminded the former Prime Minister of the 40% of Labour supporters who support and voted for Brexit. Writing in the Evening Standard, Mr Blair said, There have been two years of frankly fruitless negotiations. We are not agreed with Europe or among ourselves, he added that the problem with Brexit is Brexit because there is no resolution, Mr Farage summed up the comments and said, there you go folks, you idiotic, stupid, moronic 17.4 million people who think we can be a free country. There you go, folks, you idiotic, stupid, moronic 17.4 million people who think we can be a free country Nigel Farage, it can't be done according to Tony, there is no resolution, Mr Blair also claimed the case for a so-called people's vote is overwhelming, and the real betrayal in Britain would be in the country refusing a second referendum. Mr Farage cited the comments and blasted, what an extraordinary use of the word betrayal, what an amazing twisting of the English language, surely the real betrayal would be to ignore the wishes and the will of 17.4 million people in the greatest democratic exercise in the history of this country, Brexit news, Nigel Farage says real, image, Getty LBC, speaking from Salzburg on Wednesday, Prime Minister Theresa May ridiculed calls for a second Brexit referendum. Mrs May said, I know that for many of you Brexit is not something you want but it's important to be clear there will be no second referendum in the UK, the public has delivered. Its verdict and I as Prime Minister will deliver upon that, the UK will leave on the 29th of March next year, I believe I have put forward serious and workable proposals. We will of course not agree on every detail but hopefully, you will respond in kind. The onus is now on all of us to get this deal done. The Labour Party is planning to adopt a new vague position on Brexit which sees the party keeping all options open if the Brexit deal does not pass through Parliament, which could include calling for a second referendum. Labour Shadow Chancellor John McDonnell admitted on Monday that although the party will support a second Brexit referendum, it should just be a vote on the deal itself.